Let's talk about uh, this AEW Dynamite show, which had a lot going on in the fallout of this uh, this deal. Bandito and the Lucha Bros versus Moxley, Yuta, and Claudio. And they had an excellent opening match. And uh, the highlight was, uh, it was actually a highlight for everybody except for Claudio. As Bandito did a legitimate, I know Dave said it wasn't really 60, but I counted. A legitimate 60-second delayed vertical suplex. And he did it with one arm because his other arm was having the people count. And then after 60 completely insane out uh, seconds, he dropped him right on Claudio's head. So uh, everybody is did, all right. Did you show your father a picture of Bandito's outfit? I did not. Oh, did not. come on. Just but it's based on a very famous character. Yeah. He did not just decide he was going to be an insect on this show. So the uh, win, uh, Yuta jumping knee on Bandito, elbow after elbow, hit the seatbelt, pinned him. And so, uh, you know, I'm thinking there's a decent chance next week that Swerve beats Orange for the international title. But if not, I mean, they're clearly setting up Wheeler Yuta for something because he got the big win at the uh, Anarchy match and he got the big win here. I mean, same thing with Adam Cole. He's beaten Chris Jericho twice in uh, four days or whatever. So I think that he is clearly uh, next in line for MJF. But this was a good match. Plus, a, it makes him look good going into Japan, too, for Dominion on the 4th. Speaking of Dominion, Nick, Matt, and the Hangman are backstage. And uh, they're asked about Kenny Omega. And the gist of this is Alex Marvez heard he went back to Canada. And Hangman said, well, he is hurt. And he did leave the country. But he's not in Canada. So I fully expect him to show up at Dominion. Or the storyline is he's he's off to uh, recruit Okada and Ibushi or whoever they end up recruiting. Well, and that's the thing, too. I think for a lot of fans, if he shows up at Dominion, it may be in a different persona because he's going after Will Ospreay and it's going to lead towards Forbidden Door. So you may not get what you want on that Dominion show. You're probably going to have to wait for AEW TV. They also had a, a moment there where uh, you know, Hangman's doing his promo, and he goes, you know, you beat us, everything, but we're still standing. And so Matt tries to stand, but he can't because his foot hurts. That was good. Comedy. That was good. Jay White and Juice Robinson did a promo, which was a good promo, and they end up challenging FTR. And so uh, they uh, end up with Juice punching Dax with a roll of quarters. They double-team Cash. Ricky Starks runs down to make the save. Starts challenges Jay to a match next week on Dynamite. My guess is the third member of Bullet Club Gold, whoever that might be, is going to show up. So then we can do a six-person match, and ultimately we will do Jay and Juice versus FTR for the tag team titles. Tony Khan announced CM Punk. We had this was this was like one of those matches that they rarely do, but th this was it. It was just Trent, Big Bill, and Swerve in a three-way. Now, granted. The winner was going to get a shot at Orange Cassidy's title. But I, I can figure out why they randomly chose these three guys. Did I miss something somewhere? Why it was these three? But anyway, uh, Swerve ended up wiping out Bill with a stomp from the post of the apron. Pinned Trent after Trent had been choke slammed into the ring. So Swerve gets the international title next week. It was based off the Battle Royal, wasn't it? What, the last last three besides the winners? Something like that. Is that what it was? All right. Battle Royal finalists. All right. We had a great little interview with Chris Statlander about her title win. It was a pre-tape. Then Renee interviews the acclaimed and daddy ass. And the acclaimed, I don't know what's going on here, but the acclaimed talked about, well, first Billy said, man, I'm sorry I lost. I let down the people I love. Then they give him a big pep talk. Don't blame yourself. We were undefeated in six mans till we hit this house of black. Bone says, you know what? We've been champions before. We want gold again. But quite frankly, this man, this legend, Billy Gunn, he deserves gold one more time. We know you're disappointed, Billy, but we love you. And in fact, everyone loves the acclaimed. So I don't know. Are like they going to turn on Billy? Is Billy going to turn on them? Billy going to join the House of Black? I, just, I look. I don't want the acclaim to go dirty. You know, that's the only thing. And maybe they're 
it doesn't matter. But I think right now with the type of attention and the crowd reaction and all that stuff, I would keep them baby faces. Look, Billy, if you want to phase him out, have the guns do it. Have him get back with his kids again, and then he can kind of go off TV that way, and you can have the acclaimed and the guns. Because now that they've worked with each other, I think, you know, and this time around, they had a couple of matches. It's, you know, it should be better. So I'm good with this, and they need to build, build up the tag team division anyway. Well, you know, another thing to remember is uh, people have forgotten this because, you know, some people got so mad about FTR and, and the – and uh, the Young Bucks and everything like that. But you know when the Young Bucks won the titles last summer? They were never supposed to win those tag team titles. That was never a plan. The Hardys were supposed to win those tag team titles because, in fact, Tony wanted to give the Hardys one last title run. So this story may just be that they want Billy to have one last title run, and they're going to win the six-man titles. That may be all this is about. Or there could be a turn coming then we had an incredible segment with don Callis and takeshta and this guy came out and you know who he was he was dom Callis. that's who he was he got incredible heat and he tried to talk and then he got even more heat and every time he said anything about kenny they booed even harder he said that uh he had lost a nephew but he'd gained a son. Takeshita was the best athlete he'd ever seen. Better than Ricky Dozan, Inoki, Maeda, Muto, and Okada. And he said he's better than Kenny Omega. And Takeshita cuts a promo in Japanese, vows to destroy the elite. Kala says he's going to build a new family. So there will be more. Cut the elite out of AEW. Charles Manson had a family, too. You see what that got him. That's what his family is going to be because mm. he's a oh despicable, horrible person. Hey, look, he's not Gary Hart. No offense, Don Callis, or should I say Dom Brother, Callis. he may end up better than Gary Hart. No. Yeah. No. Let's let's not go that far. But You I know, tell you some what, people do end up better than people from the past. Yeah, but he won't end up better than Gary Hart. Stop that sort of nonsense. But it's a nice template. It's a very nice template to go by. I think that we should uh, wait three years, and then we'll have a poll. Is this horrible man, Don Callis, better than Gary Hart? Gary Hart was never running around with red shirt security on impact, pal. You'll find that out very soon when you go through these shows. Anyway, Arn Anderson, Wardlow promo. Stop it. Darby and Orange versus Toa Leone and Bishop Khan. God dang, this match was awesome. Yes. These are two... Big, mean brothers and two skinny, small brothers. Who were banged up already going and in. And boy, did these big guys give these little guys a beating of a lifetime. And then, you know, somehow Orange made a comeback with his hands in his pockets against two men. And they made it practically realistic because well. he's just avoiding them and they ran into each other and everything. And then finally, Orange wipes out Toa with a dive. Darby hits the coffin drop, gets the pin. This match was great. And then the heels go after him, and who should make the save but the Stinger? And I don't know if Tony Schiavone thinks, like, you know, this is it. It's this summer, and then Sting's gone. But, man, he marked out for Sting like never before. And that's saying something. The return of Sting. You could have given the Gates of Agony a win here because of the situation that that Orange and Darby had, you know, the night before. And I, I, I will say this. I've seen the Gates of Agony against people, and I've thought, oh, oh, God, I hope they're not killing the people that they're working with. Man, what I don't care at this point. They are great. It is needed. Like I said, they've needed to build up the tag team division anyway. They are two badasses. No, they are not the Steiners or the Creeds as far as their mat game goes. But as far as, like, the old Samoan SWAT team, you know, teams like that, that's something they absolutely need. They look fantastic. Follow up on that, please. Well, here's a problem with them winning this match. I absolutely would not beat Darby Allen coming off that That's the Pillars problem. And, four-way. And you got something going on with Orange. And yes, if, if yeah. Orange were not facing Swerve next week, they could have beaten them, and then whoever pinned him faces Orange. But they're, they've already got something next week. But you know what? With Sting coming out at the end, I think you could have done something by beating Darby, by having him survive all of that, and then still have it be because of 
somebody on the outside, whether it be Nana or Swerve or something. I think you could have done it. But, yeah, I understand that it may screw up things going forward. But Gates Agony was a big win last night. MJF promo saying that Tony was running out of men for him to face. Tony called out Hook. Out comes La Faccion. They go to beat him up. Jungle Boy makes the save. And, hey, whatever whatever booing there was over the last few weeks, Jungle Boy was super over. They were very happy to see him coming out to save Hook. They were happy to see the team back together. And, uh, and I think that they should go with these guys as a team. I think they should wrestle multiple times a month. And one of these days, they should win the tag titles down the road. Renee, interview with the Outcasts. Tony's a good heel promo of late. I like that. Then Nyla and Chris Statlander for the TBS title. This was Chris's first legitimate real match since getting hurt. And uh, it was good. Hit the 450 for the pin. And uh, I thought she looked good in this match. People liked it. Good heat. Good first match in this new TBS title run. And then we had Adam Cole and Britt Baker versus Jericho and Soraya. This was a fun main event because they did all sorts of wacky things. And honestly, you know what the hottest feud in AEW right now is? It's actually Britt Baker versus Chris Jericho. Not Adam Cole versus Chris Jericho. Not Britt Baker versus Soraya. But man, every time she got in there with Jericho, like on Sunday she got that stick and she beat the tar out of him with that stick. And then... I don't think she has ever come off the top rope before. She's come off the middle rope to do, like, the uh, Destroyer. She's in a couple of matches where she's done the Destroyer, but she's never come off the top rope. And uh, she starts climbing. Soraya gets knocked to the mat. Jericho goes to cover Soraya. And Britt comes off with a splash onto both of them. If I found out that Jericho broke his back on that spot, I would not be surprised. She... <laughs> crushed how him much do you think she weighs? god My it's not god. how much he weighs it's how she landed on the guy <laughs> right on his low back and he falls down ah! and so you know every time the women got in there against each other the place went nuts and uh and then unfortunately Sri almost killed her Ugh. with that rampage god she dropped her right on her noggin with that rampage and somehow brit lived she might actually be the toughest person in this company. If you look at all of the injuries that she's had over the last That's three fair. years. I'd so she survived that. having her neck broken into eight spots. And she gets up. They hit super kicks all around. Cole tags in. He hit the boom. The crowd chanted for the boom. He got the pin. They popped for that. So uh, the, obviously the idea behind this match was to try to rehab Adam Cole after Sunday. And, uh, you know, the crowd liked the finish, so... We'll see what happens. But that's two wins over Jericho in a week, so I think Cole and MJF for the title is going to be next. That At some point, absolutely. Absolutely. And the one thing, because I thought it was a very good show, you know, the one thing when it comes to Jericho's character, though, is, again, you lit a guy on fire backstage who apparently works for the company, and that's like an NXT moment. It gets forgotten about and doesn't even get brought up last night. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you, why do you hate about him? It just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. and by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.